Hello my loves, welcome back to my channel y'all. It's so good to have you guys back. I am so happy to have all of you here. Welcome back to my channel. I hope you guys are feeling fantastic. I hope you guys are feeling good. I am so happy to have you again. I am in deep gratitude to have you with me and I hope you guys have been just really enjoying this brand new year. I believe it's Year of the Ox. Um, somebody comment below, let me know. Um, and I just want to say thank you so much for all of you who have donated to the channel, um, all of you who have taken the time to give back to my channel and to support it. I was able to um, get myself some roses with your donations, so I'm seriously in deep, deep gratitude for that. And I wanted in exchange to provide the collective, if you choose to be here and receive this beautiful energy, this healing, then you can stay. If you choose to not stay for this healing, you can um, fast forward, okay? So I am going to call upon Archangel Metatron as a big thank you for all of you. And we are going to activate our light with the Merkaba, okay? So I just want you guys to take a deep breath. If you are choosing by choice to be here, I want you guys, you can look, you can close your eyes. I just want you to open your heart. And I want you to think about anything that's been bothering you. We're going to clump it up in a ball of energy. Any negative feelings, negative intentions of others, or if you've been feeling provoked, frustrated, anything possible. We're going to hold, you know, space for our collective healing. And as I let go, I want you guys to let this go for the day, for the moment, for our sacred space. Okay. Take a deep breath. Let it go. Take another deep breath and let it go. Take another deep breath and let it go. Thank you for those who have chosen to be here. Let's continue. If you are new to my channel, welcome. I am a psychic medium and a healer. Um, thank you for joining me today. I do read tarot intuitively. I start with the channeled message and then I move on to the description of the cards. I am clairvoyant. I am clairaudient. I am a medium and I do offer mediumship based readings. You guys, those are priced down below. I also have an Instagram, a small but growing community if you guys would like to join. Um, I do have testimonials, reviews. I do pick a card readings. I have a bunch of beautiful um, 
people there, a lot of different energies. We discuss spiritual topics. I will be posting a pick a card very soon. Also, welcome to this beautiful, spacious environment. Um, just a quick heads up, I am not going to be here. This is not my forever home, um, but it, it is an experience, okay? So it's definitely um, an experience that I want to share with you. And once I reach my destination, I will definitely express I have reached home. But till then, we are going to enjoy the scene. We're going to enjoy this moment in gratitude. And yes, I figured we would do something a little bit different. Um, I figured we would do something along the lines of what are we manifesting right now? Let's talk about our manifestation. Let's talk about, you know, what's, what's changing for us? What's happening here? So also, if you guys are feeling generous and would like to donate to the channel, I do have my cash app below. I have my Indie Deck wish list. I have my Amazon wish list, and I have my PayPal. Okay, so let's continue. So let's see what's happening here. Let's get our decks. Please be a part of my giveaway, you guys. Okay. I want everybody to be a part of it. Give me one second. <laughs> So here we have the first pile, the pink pain tarot. Here we have the second, the light seers, and the third, crystal visions. So let's look at what's manifesting right now. What's happening in your life? Let's see what's changing, what movement is happening for you. If you need more time, you can pause the video. Okay, let's jump in, shall we? So, pile one. Okay. So, a lot of you guys are definitely on path to making a very very big change in your life okay this change involves movement so I'm having a vision of movement upward so there's a lot of stair climbing and when I think about stair climbing I always think about a new phase of your life okay so this is a very quick transition this is a very quick movement there's a lot of movement up 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 okay and a lot of this is happening with determination. A lot of this is happening with love. Love for your journey and love for your path, yeah? So here we have angelic communication. The movement upward is really representative of your throat chakra awakening. So some of you guys in a most recent life, you were maybe um, silenced. So some of you guys maybe have an affinity for singing, writing, creative writing, art. So there's a movement around your self-expression and who you are, your individuality. Okay, so this is beautiful because Azure is also a stone of third eye, right? It's a third eye awakening. It enhances your intuition. It enhances the awareness, the psychic awareness of your life. And what I feel for you right now with the number five here, there's a shift. There is a change happening for you. There's a very quick change. 
And this change involves a little bit of some determination and it also involves a little bit of some, some challenges. What's life without challenges, right? Where would we be without challenges in our life? This is how we learn. This is how we learn. So we have expansion and opportunity in reverse right now, the sunflower. Okay. So some of you guys are really hold it, holding on to faith. Your manifestation is really revolving around faith. Okay. Um, there's something really beautiful here that you're learning. It's not so much of the hustle and bustle. It's not so much of the climb, but it's, it's actually a lot of the experience and the faith. So we have gentle love. What's happening in your life right now? Let's see. We have speak your truth at all times. Sayan. Yes. Everything around your life right now really revolves. It really revolves around speaking your truth. Becoming more authentic. Becoming more centered and grounded around a future. Some of you guys may have had a childhood dream or this inner child dream of wanting to be um, maybe a singer, you know, maybe someone who writes poetry. There's a, a creative streak here for you guys. I'm getting a lot of Piscean energy here. Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, Sagittarius. So with gentle love, a lot of you guys are opening your heart to something new. There's there's a brand new way of seeing something. There's a brand new way of opening your heart. It's no longer just about maybe a nine to five. It's no longer just about, you know, just the experience of the hustle and bustle. Right now, your guides are showing you that there's something else that needs attention in your life, okay? There's something completely different. Let's take a look at what the angels have in store for you. Let's see. We have peace. So this is beautiful. Let's take a look at the color scheme here. We have tons of light blues. Okay. We have a lot of air element energy, a lot of awareness. So a lot of you guys are on path to becoming more, it's like you're looking for peace. You're saying, where is my peace? Where is my peace? So we have Archangel Raphael. This is all about healing, you guys. I don't know if you guys are interested in becoming a spiritualist or a healer, but it's here in the cards for you. 
okay? It's here in the cards. So, right now, you're manifesting a brand new beginning from your heart. From your heart space. It's like I'm having a vision of you guys completely wiping the slate clean. And you're starting over on open land. Okay? So we have Archangel Rakiel, Awakening Knowledge, Divination, exactly. Look at these blues. So, a lot of you, there's a desire, it's like a thirst for knowledge. You guys are really interested in, in learning. You're really interested in finding a new path. You, you really want something new. Arrakiel is here to guide you on a path of knowledge. So this is about school and education, you guys. What is moving is some of you guys are learning how to transmute negative energy. Like, for instance, maybe you're learning energy work. Maybe you're learning a lot about your own, you know, um, you're learning a lot about your own transformation of healing and you're teaching other people. Okay, so right now where you are in life, you are using your tools like a magician. You have tools on your table and you're using them to become something. You're using them in terms of a career. I am getting a lot of travel involved. So some of you guys may be traveling back and forth or there's a lot of travel in, you know, um, in regards to your life right now. It could be spiritual. It could also just represent physical travel. So let's take a look at what else. This is pretty big, you guys, because it's almost like I'm hearing your spirit say, I just want peace. I just want peace. Right? And Archangel Raphael is not only, um, you know, is not only the angel of healing, but he's also the angel of of magic. The angel of, we call him the magician, but mainly because he is helping you manifest new energy. And also a desire to start a new project. So there's a desire of education here. Something new. So let's go ahead and see. What are you manifesting right now, my loves? This feels really big. Um, I do feel this is a karmic contract. I do feel this is Saturn. So this is like Saturn orbiting your environment. A lot of learning. Maybe there's something that's restricting you from, you know, the next step. So we have the Page of Swords. Again, active learning. There's a training. Some of you guys are going into a new training process in March. And it's going to be fantastic. I'm getting a lot of learning. Maybe you're a little nervous. Maybe there's a little bit of some, you know, collecting information. A lot of writing. I'm having a vision of a lot of writing, you guys. Um, you know, an abundance of information of something new. We have the King of Swords. Wow. 
you guys are really, really um, very Gemini energy. Like I'm getting a lot of air. I'm getting a strong level of communication. A lot of um, Mercury energy. So a thirst for knowledge. Like you really want to learn. A lot of you guys like to learn. There's a desire to really embark on a new journey here. Wow. We have the seven of pentacles in reverse. Some of you um, are really moving onto a path here of being your own boss. So you're going to start a journey of, you know, becoming your own boss in one way or another. The Seven of Pentacles in reverse talks about a lack of fulfillment. Maybe some of you guys are, are tired of waiting. There's been a lot of waiting, waiting, waiting. And right now, you're choosing to start a new journey, which is beautiful. So let's keep going, shall we? So we do have the Queen of Swords. Wow, you guys are seriously, it's like you're even going to meet somebody who's going to be a beautiful counterpart for you. It's like they're going to help you go hand in hand. With your learning process. This is like a very important monumental change for all of you. This represents an educational movement upward. There's a very divine partnership here. Very divine, very beautiful. And I'm also getting a lot of writing. I don't know if you guys, have you guys wanted to maybe write your own book? Have you had a desire to start some creative writing? There's something really beautiful happening for you. I'm really excited. So let's see. The chariot. You guys, wow, let's talk about movement. Right now, what you're manifesting is a brand new career. And you're charging ahead with confidence. Okay, there's a lot of confidence here. There's a lot of movement, a, a lot of power f movement and just a new chapter for you forward. Some of you are, there's some opposition here where you're going. And a big part of this is because of who you're becoming, there's going to be a lot of strategy. Maybe you and your beloved are both air signs. But you guys are matching each other's vibe. So let's see what other changes are ahead. We have the Nine of Pentacles. In reverse, listen, some of you are really in a place where
You're trying to love who you're becoming, especially financially. So the Nine of Pentacles in reverse discusses an energy of accepting your independence or even accepting um, that you guys are now moving into a different place. You know, when I think of the Queen of Swords, you guys, I want you guys to take a look here. I want you guys to take a look. You guys are learning how to be more independent, a strong, sacred feminine. Really enjoying your independence. And this is hard. This is going to be really hard on you because of who you're becoming. Okay, so this is about balancing your wealth, balancing your, you know, who you are. You're going to have someone who's going to help you manifest this dream. It's going to be a career. It's going to be something big. It's going to be huge, okay? Um, but I do feel this is going to be, you're putting something together. You're putting an article together. You're putting an environment together. Something that you're putting together, like an environment, meaning a group of people are going to help you write an article, or there's a blog. There's a vlog of some kind. But either way... There's something really beautiful here. And a big part of this, you're almost going to see a lot of your own endeavors, your business. You're like, wow, like this is really happening here. Some, you know, my guides are saying there's something here you've never really done before. And you're really going to show yourself how to do it. You're really going to show, it's like you're going to show yourself how worthy you are. So we have the Queen of Cups in reverse, beautiful. We have the Justice in reverse, beautiful. And I'll tell you why it's beautiful. There's something about your life right now. People are not really understanding you, um, and it's kind of throwing you off emotionally. And although you're facing some karmic contracts around your emotions, this could be your relationships too, you guys are destined to learn how to be more independent, how not to depend on just love or partnerships to get you from point A to B. Okay? This is what you're manifesting right now. You guys are manifesting a career in writing and, you know, um, whether it's you're going to start some kind of blog with someone. You do have a divine counterpart that you're going to be working with, you guys. But the Nine of Pentacles in reverse definitely talks about having to really understand yourself as an independent person and vice versa, becoming more of an individual. Okay, let's go ahead and get the advice. So what's your advice from the angels? Let's see. We have the Ten of Swords. Okay, so let go of old habits, like old patterns, old ways of doing things, okay? So a lot of this is really about seeing people for who they are, number one, and are they on path with you? Are they people who are going to help you? Are these people going to help you move forward? Are they going to assist you with where you're going? And if they're not, sometimes we have to part ways, right? This is also about letting go of all the things that, you know, have caused you um, maybe a sense of anxiety around needing to adapt, needing to be around others, um, anything that makes you want to rely on codependency, Okay. This is beautiful, you guys. I feel guided to give you another angel card here. So are you ready for it? 
let's see. Okay, we have Archangel Dophiel. We have uh, Illumination, Creativity, and Authenticity in Reverse. All about your creativity, you guys. Your advice is to become more creative. Get more in tune with your creativity so you feel more abundant. Something about your scarcity, you guys. I'm having a vision of maybe feeling a little bit scarce. So um, practice abundance thinking, yeah? Okay, let's move on, pile two, shall we? Shall we? Yes, yes, yes. Let's do this. Okay, pile two. Let's see what you're manifesting. Wow. Oh my goodness, you guys. There is a full bloom, a full harvest happening in your life right now. So we do have ground thyself. It's all about the earth elements for you right now. It's looking fantastic. You're growing a new environment in terms of wealth, happiness, joy. You're becoming more grateful about everything in your life. There's, there's an abundance of energy, okay, but in a good way. It's almost like you guys are feeling really revved up. You're feeling ready to start your movement forward, okay? And a big part of this is about grounding all of your ideas, all of your manifestation, all of the things that you've wanted to ground, So we have the hero's journey. A lot of you guys have been through so much in your life, okay? You've been through so much, and I feel like there's an awakening here of being able to truly, truly ground everything that you've always wanted, okay? So it's like you're moving from the ethos into the earth plane. So for me, the spirit is also about you know, learning what it is that you've come to incarnate on this earth to do. It's like your incarnation, your life purpose. I'm also having a vision of these beautiful violet flowers. A lot of lilies. Okay, so this is a representation also of death and rebirth. Some of you guys have had a past life in Egypt. There's a deep perspective here of Egyptian mythology. Maybe you guys are connecting with Isis, the goddess Isis, Osiris, Anubis. I mean, there's a, a variety. But for me here, what's sticking with me is Anubis because you're moving a lot of the underworld energy and you're awakening your light, okay? You're becoming more in tune with your light. So right now, it's like you're climbing this pyramid, right? You're climbing this, this beautiful pyramid of, of strength. Gifts of humanity. You're teaching yourself a lot about self-love, self-worth. Okay? So a lot of this is really awakening a purpose of how can I help other people? Right? How can I help? myself, but also help other people. You know, there's a saying here, um, something about sitting at a round table, right? It was my favorite saying because no one is sitting pretty much above anyone else. The table is round where we all kind of sit together, right? Power is circular for me at least. Okay, it's like a movement of, of people where we are together. So a lot of you guys are starting to see this for yourself. Some of you are teachers. I'm having a vision of becoming a teacher. Or you're becoming a priestess or a priest. You're, you're, that there's a hierarchy of wanting to teach what you know, like the, hi like the hierophant, you know, really having a higher status, okay? And 
you're really understanding that things take time. Right now, if you are feeling restless, you're feeling uneasy, you're feeling a little bit uncomfortable, a lot of things are changing for you. You're going to remove you're going to remove yourself from an old path. Here we have charity and trust. And you're going to start becoming more, it's like you're hands on with the public. Okay, humanity, teaching, expressing, public speaking. Some of you are going to tell your story here. This is really beautiful. So we have ignorance and mystery. Some of you guys are going to have people question you on this path where you're headed. Um, there's going to be a lot of judgment or a lot of questioning or, you know, there's a lot of trying to redirect your path. Okay, I am getting some eighth house energy. I'm also getting some fourth house. So this isn't just about the public, but it's also about who you're becoming, right? It's about how you relate to other people, depending on where you come from, your family. So we have Archangel Haniel, Divine Joy. Beautiful. This is really beautiful um, for many reasons. You are seeking. Look at the pyramid here. We talked about the pyramid, right? Reminds you of Egypt. There's a channel of power. You're a conduit of light. Okay. So your movement in life is going to directly relate to your connection to your angels, your divine guidance. Okay. And divine joy, holding space for your heart, holding space for something new by, by, you know, opening yourself to new experiences is going to get you to the top. This is what's going to get you there. Because as the pyramid in Egypt, I want you guys to look at the mythology of that. There's some really important information there for you. I want you guys to connect with the water element. Something about the water is going to help you also flow with your business. It's going to teach you a lot about um, how to kind of respect the movement of being present in your life and also acquiring wealth, especially during this time and how not to move away from your morality. Okay. So we have Archangel Shamuel, Gateway of Direction. This is beautiful. Shamuel is also the angel of releasing grief, releasing um, pain, releasing judgment, releasing anything that you've held on from a past life, current life. You guys are very special, and I'll tell you why. You have an activation of Archangel Metatron himself, empowered by self-embodiment. What you are doing is you are representing the collective with what you're going to do in life. This path is not easy. It's not easy at all, but you're doing it because you're being gifted something through humanity. You know, when I think of Prometheus, I think of a gift from God, right? There's a gift here for you to give to other people. This is going to require the next six months. For some, it's six. The, uh, you know, for others, it's four. I'm having a vision here of a lot of, a lot of water, 
okay waves are going to be crashing so your emotions really trust your intuition water isn't just about your emotions it's not just about movement but it's about how you are able to tread water how you are able to you know consistently stay afloat and also trusting your instincts you guys what I see here is love. What I see here, it doesn't matter what you're doing in life. It doesn't matter. You're giving birth to new conditions through your heart. This is where our divine space is, our heart. And sometimes we move through our shadow. We move through rough patches. in order to get there. Sometimes it takes your warrior spirit. A lot of you guys have a panther as your spirit guide. It's one of mine. The panther excuse me, the panther totem here, walking next to you, brave, okay, so let's look at the general of what's happening in your life right now, pile two, let's see, so we have the seven of wands in your life of what you're manifesting right now, okay? And we have the wheel of fortune. Okay, listen, this is, you know what this reminds me of? This reminds me of one of my favorite um, books I'm learning. Uh, I believe it's um, Silence. I believe it's Silence. But it's mainly about how to stay mindful through the act of silence okay this is like a peaceful riot here within your heart right so the seven of wands in reverse you know for me right now this is about how you stand up to the elements how you stand up in your life and how proud you are of who you are and who you're becoming yeah A lot of this is going to require some tough skin. The Wheel of Fortune is on your side. Some of you guys are going to be gifted something very important within the next three weeks or three months. Okay? Good fortune. There's going to be abundance rolling in, but there, you're going to be recognized for something. This could be at work. This could be a friendship. This could be a relationship. You're going to be recognized for something. And it could just be letting go of needing to, you know, be defensive, letting go of fighting. You're, you're teaching people something. Okay? There's something about your peaceful protest here. It's really teaching people how to level up, how to attract more wealth, how to attract more abundance. And this is, you're doing this with your eyes closed. I'm having a vision of you doing this right here. I like that card. Your eyes are closed. Okay. So what are you manifesting here? So, you know, the seven of wands is also about, wow, you guys, look at the solar plexus here. So in reverse, this is about releasing the need to, you know, prove some kind of ego here. You're, you're allowing humanity to kind of roll in from a place of compassion. And this is how you're attracting good fortune. What's that Kanye West song, you guys? One of my favorites. On God, right? I think he said something like... Um, he said something like how do I get uh, good fortune on my side 
it was something like that. I want you guys to look up the lyrics. Let me know down below. But it reminds me of that. The devil had my soul. I can't lie. Right? So. Hmm. And what you get here is a movement of. You're a movement. I want you to believe it. So let's look at what you're manifesting. We have the hanged man in reverse. A different perspective. Some of you guys are doing something outside of what your family wanted you to do. You're becoming something completely different. So it could be even something about, you know, becoming a lawyer, but you're practicing a different kind of law, right? It doesn't have to be one way, right? Maybe it's a different, it's, you know, it could be anything. Maybe you're choosing to be a music teacher, something that's a little bit different. So what are you manifesting? But this is going to be big, you guys. Something you either you have been through something in your life and it could be recognized by your community, it could be recognized by people around you, it could be anything really. But we have the six of swords in reverse. This is also about recognizing um how you can move past a lot of your trauma. Okay, how can you, you know, moving past a lot of your past. That's funny, right? Moving past, I'm telling you. There's always going to be an obstacle. There's always going to be people who are going to kind of stop you or they're going to try to, you know, how do you move past turbulence or people who are arrogant right how do you get to shore when when you know the waves are a little bit intense you get there with a different perspective because this is what you're doing you guys are breaking tradition. I love it. Some of you are going to be working with children. Congratulations. Yes, we need more of that. Teachers, please teach. We're all in need of teaching and we're all students. Okay. This is also about bringing joy into people's lives one way or another. Right? Doing something that involves... Um, Bringing something, something to the table. Some of you may even be uh, veterinarians. Look at that. This is a little puppy. But whatever it is that you're doing, I'm having a vision of Archangel Michael here standing tall with you. So there's going to be a lot of protection for you. And... I want to say March through April, you're going to see a huge shift in your finances for the better. There's going to be a huge shift in terms of career. I'm getting a lot of, I did not believe I could do that. And then you're going to see yourself do it. You have to be careful for people who are um, the five of swords. <laughs> people who are not seeing things your way, okay? People who don't really want to see you win because of their ego. These are the people you love the most. They need, they need it the most. So what's the outcome? We have justice. Wow. So again, we have, you know, if you guys are looking to be a police officer, you're looking to be, um, you know, a lawyer or something involving the law to bring peace or to bring balance, this is it. You're going to do it. Okay, I'm getting a lot of studying as well, you guys, but mainly what I see is some there's an opportunity that you have been waiting for that's going to open itself up for you. So what gifts? Let's look at the gifts, shall we? Page of Cups. Wow, the Two of Wands in reverse. This is going to take some time, okay? Let me tell you. 
something recently happened to you or something is going on in your life where maybe you felt there wasn't justice. They could, the, you know, this could be anything, right? What you're going to see unfold in your life is justice. What you're going to see is not only financial abundance, you're going to also see a lot of, it's like strangers are going to protect you. People are going to protect your legacy and you're going to be shocked. But this is the way the creator has planned it for you. Because where you're going, you're going to need to remain in your heart. Okay? And this is going to be a long road, but you're going to do it. The gift is a pause before you really start planning. I'm also getting the Page of Cups here. A lot of creativity. So you're going to have a lot of aha moments. Like, whoa, that's an idea. Maybe again, something you never thought, look, that, that whole saying, when pigs fly, it's going to be something completely like random. You're going to be like, wow, I never thought this could be. And it will, because this is going to be good karma for you. What is fair is fair for you. Yeah. So let's finish it off here. So what are the gifts? What's coming towards you? Mm-hmm. Okay. Before you can move forward, my loves, before you can move onto a different journey, you're going to have to really face your heart. You're going to have to heal. You're going to have to let yourself feel all the things that you haven't felt. Okay. So let's go ahead and get the advice on how to receive these gifts. Because a lot of the time we're in our way, right? How to receive the Knight of Wands. This is about allowing movement in your life. Things aren't going to be perfect, so just go with the flow. The Knight of Wands... He moves with the flow and he uses his creativity to, it's like you're going to carve your own path. So trust yourself, trust that you can make your own path. Okay. All right, my loves, let's keep going. Last pile. Shall we? Let's do this. Okay. Pile three. Wow. I'm having a vision here of a beautiful braid, a weaving braid here. So a lot of you guys are moving through a time of contracts, past life, merging into current life contracts, okay? And the reason why this is beautiful, for many reasons, but one, it's almost like the mother, the crone, or what is it that you guys have made in the mother, the crone, weaving, there's a lot of weaving here of destiny. A lot of it. So let's see what's happening in your life. So right now there's a lot of, you know, there's a lot of energy moving around consequences. So maybe you guys have been experiencing a time of karma for the sake of removing a lot of your past life energies and it's been a little bit hard, right? For <laughs> the lack of a better word here, it's been challenging, right? You're, you're frustrated. Maybe you're feeling like, why is my life not moving or why are things happening? And here we have Sekhmet, right? Warrior spirit. Wow, all these piles have beautiful energies here. They're all about resiliency. Resiliency. 
So you guys have been working on something for the past year off and on, or maybe you've been working on something. Um, I'm getting slow and steady here and it's coming into fruition this summer. And if it's not, there's a project that's waiting for you to unfold. Like it's, it's unfolding right before your eyes. It is your truest mission in life. Some of you have a very beautiful energy of being present and being very, um, like people just gravitate towards you. A lot of wanting to tell you about their lives. Maybe you guys have a natural flow of a therapist or a counselor. So we do have uh, tough in your spirit. Learning something new. There's also a really interesting, so we have passion and sex in reverse. What I feel right now is um, there's a lot of shadow energy in your environment. I don't know if you guys are having trouble with family. I'm getting a lot of struggles here. Enhance self-respect. It's really important for you to stand up for what you believe in, pile three. Okay, You have to stand up for what you believe in. And I'll tell you why. This is going to enhance your self-respect. And not just that, it's going to enhance your voice. So what I'm seeing is maybe there's a lineage here or a family legacy of some of your ancestors not really happy about what you're doing or where you're going in life. Or, you know, our ancestors are always with us, always on our side, but sometimes we have that one or two family member with the, the saltiness, right? Where we're not really in flow or in balance. This is also about family karma, generational patterns, Okay. So how you disconnect from negativity is going to be key because you can also heal those ancestors as well, right? There can be peace. It just depends on the energy that you're bringing in, okay? So you guys are learning something new and you're learning how to trust that you can really achieve what it is that you want to achieve. This is going to take time, you guys. When I think about weaving, it's like like when I used to crochet. I know, don't make fun of me. I love crochet. I, <laughs> I used to crochet when I was like 16. I was like crocheting. I was like, oh yeah, hey. It's like it takes time, right, to make something, to get in the flow of crafting with your hands. This is what you guys are really like accepting in your life right now. You're accepting the patience. To build a legacy takes patience and determination. So here we have the gold spectrum. Yes, I love this. It doesn't get any better. This is all about your abundance. And this is also about making it happen. Getting to it, you know, starting something. A lot of you guys, again, there's maybe some back and forth, uh, hot and cold, and the energy here is about really grounding what it is that you want to ground and, and doing it, making it happen for yourself. We have opaline spectrum. Pile three. Indigo spectrum. Wow, you guys have a lot of movement here. What are you manifesting? Pile three. Whoa, blue spectrum. Mm hmm. So there's a lot of creativity here. A lot of learning how to just be you, 
Okay. Some of you guys have been hiding what you wanted to work on. This could be anything, spirituality, feeling ashamed, or, and you're saying, you know what, I'm going to, I'm just going to handle this with grace. I'm just going to handle this with grace. I'm going to, you know, I'm going to be who I am. Despite some, listen, a lot of you, my loves, I want you to just be very kind to yourself because your family here, they are not approving. They're not approving of who you are, who you want to be. And this is really tough on your spirit. There's definitely some karmic ties, specifically with the father. Okay, so it's not easy to say, this is who I am, this is who I want to be, and to not have an alliance with your own family, right? But this is why you are going to be great at what you do, because you are standing in your power and you're saying, I have to trust who I'm becoming, you know? I have to do what I have to do. I have to be me. So let's look at your manifestation energy here. Let's look at this. Because it feels very, you know, your energy right now, my loves, I want you to take advantage of this because I want you to go out to nature, sit with a park, you know, at the park, get grounded, put your feet on the grass, okay, and channel Gaia's energy. I'll tell you why. Because the power that you have right now, you can really lift a lot of the, the obstacles and manifest whatever it is that you desire. But you have to remember the basics of who you are. Don't let life blind you, right? So we have general energies. I'm telling you, the Nine of Cups. Gratitude. Wow. This is about being grateful, content with what you have. And if you are, this is also the card of manifesting your dreams by just kind of sitting there. So right now, count your blessings, right? We're counting our blessings. Um, you have a beautiful transformation involving something you've always wanted to do. And it's just going to kind of happen. The Queen of Cups, we have Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. Again, this really revolves around empathy, around, you know, psychic ability, psychic awareness. Okay? It could be spiritualism. It could be being something that, you know... People are not really in alignment with. This feels like more of a family thing, you guys. And you know what? Here we have Archangel Gabriel, divine inner strength. This is, this is my Archangel that I work with. And Gabriel is wonderful for many reasons. Because, you know, Gabriel shows you the way of creativity and also divine strength. And he's always one of the frontliners in front of our Creator. The most high, shoulders back, beautiful wings. I had a dream. I call it a prophecy, though. This is who you're becoming. This is it. You're really, you're saying, I'm going to take what was gifted to me and I'm going to make something of myself. Listen, gratitude being comfortable with yourself, being comfortable with where you are is going to help you become more creative. It's going to remove the obstacles. This is how you remove your obstacles. Use creativity as a way to eliminate all the, the toxic forms of, you know, barriers in your life. So let's see what gifts. Let's talk about it. <laughs> we have justice wow 
okay, justice, you guys, okay, okay, fairness, completion of a karmic cycle, you guys have had some karmic energies, okay, there's some, there's some stuff, there's some stuff around karma with family, karma in life, and you're balancing out the scales, okay, my favorite analogy is of mat, right, the, the heart and the feather, what weighs more? What weighs more? We have the Wheel of Fortune. Listen, you guys are all growing some serious abundance. Don't forget about me when you guys are famous because um, I have not received the Wheel of Fortune in a really long time from my own card pull. So, hey, now, really happy to see this for you. I want you to know that right now, this is a very karmic time. You're learning a lot through your, your challenges, and you're also learning a lot through the good times. So this is about trusting divine guidance. Like even when I, you know, end up in a situation that's not ideal, or I end up in a situation where I'm like, why did I do this to myself? You know, how many times are we hard on ourselves? And we're like, oh. We start shaming, right? Why? I do a lot of that. Why, why did I make that choice? Why did I do that? Because there's always a plan. There's always a plan. There's always divine guidance. There's always a plan. You have to trust it. And this is all about heart, you guys. The Queen of Cups is very responsible with her emotions. She's the divine feminine. She's the mother of all. Okay, you could be a masculine too and just have a very different approach to the way you, you know, you approach life, right? It could just be a little bit more of a softer side of yourself. So let's keep going. What are the gifts? Let's see what else. You guys have some serious movement here. Chariot, power travel, confidence, status. It's almost like you're, you're going to move away from home, you guys, as we move into May. This is going to be pretty big. A lot of you have spirit guides protecting you. Maybe the spirits are protecting you. You know, there's, there's a lot of movement. Your ancestors are protecting your path. You may even have a duality of energy that's protecting you, shadow and light. Right? So who you are, there's a presence here with your art, with your strength, with your creativity, with your grace. You're going to start new. This is a gift, you guys. Some of you are being gifted um, an opportunity to leave, leave home, to follow your own path and your own journey. You're going to be who you want to be. You're no longer going to tie yourself to a legacy. There's nothing wrong, you guys, with, you know, approval from your parents. There's nothing wrong with that, right? This is what we all want. But sometimes we got to get on that chariot card and we got to say, you know what, we got to go. We got to, you know, take a leap forward with the fool and say, we got to go. We got to start a new chapter. You know, this is about if you are the chosen one in your ancestor, like within your lineage, life is going to be challenging because you are meant to raise the bar. You're not meant to be like everyone else. And that is one of the hardest things of being the chosen one. You're going to stand out. You're going to be different. So let's do one more and I will leave. Let's see what else. And then I will leave you there. So we have the tower as a gift, a deconstruction of a lot of ego, a deconstruction of something that is no longer working for you. It's completely falling apart so you can rebuild. This is the beauty of life. And sometimes we need a little bit of a shakeup. I had one this morning. Ooh. <laughs> but it set the tone for my day, right? Sometimes we need a little bit of a shake-up. 
so we can start fresh and say, I have a new perspective. Some of you guys, there's something that's going to disconnect here, and I do feel it's revolving around your, your mindset, your perspective. Some of you, a plan that you had is now kind of falling apart, and now you have to re revisit a different, like a different aspect of it to make it work. Your investments. This could be financial. Where you're investing your money, um, how you're saving your money, right? How you're making your money. Are you investing in something that's going to build wealth or it's going to take from you? This is going to be big for you. This is big, you guys. Um, I do feel right now you're going to have to kind of remove a lot of the things that are blocking your, your vision. I'm having a vision of a lot of energy that they're trying to kind of throw you off right now. But if you can continue the path of gratitude and just see that you can use all resources, all tools that are in front of you instead of wanting more and more and more, right? Because that's blocking your abundance. You block your manifestation when you get greedy. If you want to be rich, you got to be grateful. And you can be rich. Anyone can be rich, right? Rich in spirit. do it and see so what is your advice for me this is about where you guys are investing your money your time your mind and your heart because you do have a possibility here either there's going to be some kind of investment here that's going to you know enhance your wealth or there's something big here but you need to revisit your identity because this is what your contract is you have to revisit this Okay, so the advice is to stand up to the elements and believe, you know, really stand up tall in what you believe in. Okay, you're going to have people who are going to envy your progress, but this is not about them, Leo. Virgo. Pisces. You gotta, you gotta, you know, this is about your wheel of fortune. This is about your justice card. How are you bringing justice in? You know, Archangel Gabriel is here giving you strength. My favorite. I was lucky to see his presence in form of his wings and his trumpet. I didn't get to see his face. But I did see his stature. I did see his presence, how tall he kind of stood. He or she. Angels are kind of dual, you guys, but they don't really have gender. We have Empress. Okay, this is it. There's a desire here for something more. But you, you got to change your mindset. This is about mindset, you guys. The Four of Swords, take a break. Reset. What do you want to do? It doesn't mean give up. It just means, you know, take a moment. Just just take a moment. Trust me. It's, I know it's hard to do it. It's challenging. As we move into the summer, you're going to grow something brand new, but you have to make room with a different flow. If you, you have the same flow, you're going to really, really feel conflicted. You can't come into the summer with this new project with the same attitude, okay? Mwah. I love you so much, and I hope you enjoyed. Bye.